Hello friends, let's talk about today a very interesting subject for the annual bill which you receive, which we call it a property tax bill. In state of Texas, we have a separate line for mud taxes. And I get asked all the time by my clients, what are the mud taxes? Even though they have signed the paper at the closing, which really explains what is mud and what the mud taxes assessments are going to be used for. But anyways, let's do it a detail, a little bit more detail than which is printed on the paper. Mud taxes are when the developer has taken an upfront loan, call that a loan, okay, from the state to develop the infrastructure, which is outside the city, which is, which includes all the municipality utility amenities to make a neighborhood livable, right? You need water line, you need storm water collection, you need sanitary sewer lines, you need electricity, you need natural gas, and maybe more, just like table and things like that, which is under the ground. And the way it works in Texas is Texas State allocates the amount to the developer, which then is distributed to all the homeowners in the neighborhood who pays through annual property tax bill, there is a one line item which is called mud taxes. So think of it as a loan, your developer has taken it and all the homeowners are making a payment. What does it do? It makes your home affordable, unlike other states, California or New York, where you see the prices are almost double or sometimes even triple for the size of the home we live in Texas. But then we pay them through property taxes. So sometimes you hear that, oh, in state of Texas, don't go because they have higher property taxes. So choice is yours, whether you pay them upfront or you pay them divided into 30 years. Of course, the very reason you want a later part, that's why you are able to even afford buying the home. You take a loan from the bank and not pay upfront all your cash, even if you have it. Sometimes it makes more sense to invest the cash in a more diverse commodities which can pay you higher interest than paying it upfront, building or the house you're gonna live in. The loan usually is way lower percentage, that's what I think. Well, anyways, let's stick to the subject of MUD taxes. So what do the MUD is to give you the facility, the amenities, the livability, and the functioning of the home for you to be outside the city limit. Those are called MUD taxes. Sometimes you see LID, lid taxes. What are the lid? I even see PID, PID. I'll just give you a very short explanation of that. PID is Public Improvement District, and the LID is Levy Improvement District. So if your neighborhood is close to the river and it needs a protection from the river water when it rains or there is a flood because there is a torrential rain, it creates a bowl around your neighborhood. So your neighborhood water, of course, will go through gravity to the river, but then need be there is a levee which will pump out all the water from your neighborhood to the other side where the river is. Similarly, it will protect you from water coming from outside river to your neighborhood because you have have a four feet surrounded levy system. I will just say that much about the levy district and the public improvement district is for the parks, recreation. Suppose your neighborhood, there are a bunch of neighborhoods in Texas, they are known for that and they need a big public park or a water park or they need another amenities, you know. It is for all the public included in the district, they take that loan and they need to get reimbursed. So how long are these loans? Usually they are 20 to 30 years loans. What it means is after the neighborhood is 20 or 30 year old, you have paid off the amount of the loan and now you're debt free. So your taxes typically, when you buy a home, a lived in home, which is for 20 year or 30 year old subdivision, the payments are less. The taxes have become really less for you. And that is the reason. What else do we need to know about the uh, municipality improvement district? Who is the authority? Who sets up the rules and regulation? It is the entity called TCEQ. So it is the acronym Texas Commission for Environmental Quality. They work with also EPA, which is a federal governing authority and makes the rules and regulation for all the developers to follow. They have to make sure the infrastructure is to the code. So it is not inferior. They are made to last 
for 40, 50, 60 years. Yes, they can have a breakdown, which is again, through your mud taxes, a portion of it goes for operation, which can be later used for maintenance of the infrastructure. That's all you have to know. And actually it is not a permanent tax. So that is to be happy. And you paid a lower price for the home. So that's a good news for everybody who wants to buy a home in Texas. So I'm actually selling Texas. Houston is where I live. Houston suburbs is my team. And if you want to buy a house in anywhere in Houston or surrounded counties, you have to call Sona Shop. Hope I've given you some important information explaining you all these basic taxes which you pay. And I'll see you next week with another wonderful subject which I've prepared for you, which will talk about all the scams happening in the town after you buy the homes. So stay tuned with my channel. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.